Hello, would like to go through the uh, CP2 Final Summary Review and then uh, which is talking about the Weaver and also the Coast, okay? And so accordingly, please turn to your uh, Final Summary page uh, Wait a minute Page uh, right here, which should be page 26 And you can see uh, for the refer part of the CP2, which is most of the time talking about the differences between upper cost, middle cost, and also lower cost, and there are some misconceptions all the ways, okay? But first of all, uh, the gradient is uh, generally for the upper cost is steep, and then middle cost is less steep, and lower cost certainly is, is gentle. And But what about the discharge? Discharge is somewhat uh, a bit difficult for you to understand because uh, the charge for the upper cost is small and the middle cost is larger and then for the lower cost is largest okay so what is makes up of the making up of the uh, discharge which including volume uh, times the velocity so uh, some of you are going to misunderstand this okay which is the uh, speed of the river flow of the lower cost will be uh, higher and then for the upper cost will be lower but you may think another way around may you may say that oh because upper cost we are having more waterfall as well as uh, for the lower cost we are having uh, more larger low so that accordingly should be a uh, high uh, speed in the upper cost and also lower speed for the uh, uh, lower cost but actually it's not the case which uh, I should better show you the area of the Xing Moon wait a minute and Xing Moon right here and then you can see for the Xing Moon River and then we are having the upper cost which is right here which is the Tamoshan and then there's a very uh, that is flowing along the Xing Moon, uh, I mean the Tamo Shan, and then this is the upper course of the Xing Moon River. And accordingly, you can find a lot of rock, but meanwhile, uh, it's steep, but meanwhile, there's a lot of rock to blocking the way. So, accordingly, the rain, uh, the velocity may be high because uh, it is going to be having a very high uh, vertical differences, but immediately is stopped by another kinds of rock which is there's a higher obstacle throughout the way okay and how about the lower cost lower cost is like this uh, and then if it's like this it's very smooth although it's uh, made up by the uh, artificial uh, channelization but uh, indeed uh, apart from the artificial channel and we are having more straightforward channel and then accordingly the uh, flow is also large and accordingly is a uh, general uh, channel will be smoother okay so it's going to be high okay and how about the amount of energy is little uh, for the uh, upper cost okay because the uh, water is not strong the uh, one north is not strong and how about the world of river world of river is also something important to be reminded okay uh, Work of river also the same as the Fuyo process and which is E E stand for erosion, T stand for translocation and D definitely stand for deposition. So when you every time when you see the word work of river or Fuyo process, please do uh, specify as the erosion, translocation as well as the deposition. So for the upper course it is talking about the erosion as the major work and then for the middle course the translocation is the major work and then for the lower course it is uh, the deposition should be the major work. Okay, accordingly, we are having this kind of low, this kind of channel path, and also the different features in regards of different part of course. Okay, uh, so for the, but be careful. Uh, the low uh, is talking about lead to or large, which is talking about the quantity, not the quality. Okay, so for the upper cost, the low in general is is lead to. For the moderate, uh, for the middle cost is moderate, and for the lower cost is large amount, but most of them are fine and rounded, uh, rather materials. Okay, and then uh, there will be different kinds of uh. Fuel, fuel landform and when we are talking about fuel landform one of the most uh, popular fuel landform will be the 
waterfall. And what is waterfall is always caused by a steep gradient where the vertical erosion is active and then over a band of rock with different resistance also make rise of the uh, waterfall. So accordingly, what should you do? What well, uh, you gonna tell me, oh, it's having some erosion right here and then punch pool underneath of the waterfall and the waterfall will occur afterwards. Waterfall retreat and also the overhang will be collapsed and then it's also forming the uh, punch pool, okay? And then reshape ready and also interlocking spur and other way round, which is talking about is a uh, uh, winding and then the I mean the channel is winding and then there's different kinds of uh, erosion and also the deposition throughout the race okay and uh, the undercutting a uh, lot the undercutting the lateral erosion you will also uh, provide great work to there okay and this is quite important because it's the 2020 DSE DBQ okay and what's more Osmo Lekla so when we are talking about the Osmo Lake, we have to mention the inner band and also the outer band, okay? Uh, inner band, fewer obstacles, and then the flow, uh, the water will flow faster, and then the erosion taking place in the outer uh, area, okay? How about the inner band? Inner band, we are having more... We are having more obstacle and then it gonna be blocking the way okay and then the dead position will taking place like this and then finally it's going to seal the area like here and then an ospo leg will reform that so for detail please refer to here and then for, how about flood plane flood plane is a very good uh annotated diagram for you already and most of the time flooding will make the uh, sediment out falling out of the river channel and then the uh, that position may occur in the area next to the channel and then uh, after next time and then uh, after uh, alternative uh, that position the uh, lateral levees and also the lateral embankment are caused to the uh, are a develop close to the channel and then a layer of sediment will cover the floodplain as well okay how about delta delta is talking about the uh, mouth of the river uh, since we are having a lot of river uh, going out uh, to the sea and along with a lot of uh, rare materials okay so uh, it's going to be uh, develop a lot of uh, that position once is going to crash with this one okay crash with these two because the sea water will flowing towards the mouth okay so accordingly when the uh, river water meets with the sea water is gonna be at uh, the velocity of the river flow will be slowed down and then the deposition will occur so it is going to form a bars or island of the sediment to build in the middle of the main channel the deposition will be encouraged since the hydraulic radius drop and the river become less efficient. The largest uh, sediment are dropped the first and then the finest array. Okay, layer of sediment build the data delta and out into the sea and so uh, the forest uh, that will develop a delta which is in the river mouth. Okay, uh, be careful about the hydrograph because the hydrograph may lead at uh, the minus of uh, from the peak rainfall to the uh, peak discharge instead of the very beginning of the uh, rainfall not this one okay erase it first okay so uh, when we are talking about the time now it's talking about the time between the peak rainfall to the peak discharge okay please do bear in mind okay uh, and then uh, how about the case case is mainly about the flooding in the yangtze river and then uh, first of all uh, what are the problem flooding takes place and then the loss of property uh, four thousand people dead on that time okay 15 millions of people are dehomed and then spread of disease blah 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 and then pollution will taking place also because uh, a lot of uh, pollutants have been uh, washed into the uh, lake just like Tai Wu we have at uh, Tai Wu we have invested uh, f free, uh, 13 billion of renminbi to fix the water problems okay and disturbance of the ecosystem uh, but what are the major problem of the river okay 
deforestation because uh, the Changjiang Delta, uh, most of 85% of the vegetation cover have been removed along the Changjiang Basin. Okay, how about reclamation? Reclamation, uh, just like the farming and also the urban de uh, urbanization in the uh, cities will also make the uh, Dongting Hu will be reduced from uh, 4,000 to 2,000 right now. Okay, how about agricultural? Agricultural, as I said before, uh, just like the Dongting Hu of the Yangtze River, and then we are going to uh, raise a lot of preps, okay, and it will going to reduce a lot of the uh, area of the neck, okay, fresh uh, freshwater with fishery, la, and then it's quite uh, intensified so that uh, not many freshwater catch is remained, and then uh, HGP generation, uh, uh, lavigation and transport. 80% uh, of the water inland transport are done in the Changjiang, bear in mind. Okay, tourism, and also you can tell me some examples, Sanxia and also Lushan, uh, Giant Buddha. Okay, uh, major of the problem may include flood management, uh, uh, free gorge dam, uh, so on and so forth. And then, then you Songling, ecosystem uh, conservation and uh, but how about the evaluation, which is uh, we have to concern about safety, concern about the situation of farmland, concern about the development of HGP, natural environment protection, ecology. Uh, how about the problems? Problems may include uh, because of this kind of uh, measure, we are going to uh, destroy a lot of historical products and then uh, historical statue and then uh, we have to reset to over 1 million of people and then uh, make a great compensation during that time even 69 billion yuan RMB, okay? Uh, so all the way is talking about the problem and also the uh, effectiveness of the measures, okay? Uh, this is all about the uh, without strategies and you can have a look, okay? Uh, uh, bear in mind what is the pros and what is the cons will be fine, okay? Uh, then I'm not going to go through with you one by one, which including the channelization and then channelization. We can make the uh, water hold holding capacity of the channel increase with a velocity increase, erosion decrease, and also the deposition will decrease, okay? But what are the problem? Expensive, lah, and then uh, it's not uh, beautiful, and then concrete may destroy the river habitat. So on so forth, okay? I'm not going to go through one by one with you because dragging is somewhat aligned with the channelization, but uh, it's just going to uh, remove the sediment from the channel, from the uh, channel bed, okay? Uh, dike and impairment uh, make the uh, river become uh, higher and then uh, the uh, hold water holding capacity will be increased it, and then flood uh, bypass flood rate which is going to diverge the uh, flood water into some uh, area which is not really important okay we're trying to regulate the discharge of the rain river in this way okay but what are the problem expensive large large uh, land to build okay uh, so on so forth I'm not going to go through one by one with you but uh, land use planning also Worth to have a look among uh, low matter is uh, about river and coastal, okay, which include the uh, restriction of redevelopment of uh, of development of Hasa Pong area for the flood plain area, okay, and also regulate and the reclamation of fish pond and wetland of the flood plain may restore the ability of the wetland to absorb uh, flood water. What are the uh, limitation and disadvantage, okay, which include the uh, restrict of the development in areas with the uh, with a shortage of land and then complex uh, land ownership and then enforcement of law land use is difficult. How about the uh, coastal? Okay, coastal may include constructive wave and destructive wave, which is very important geological geographical work. Okay, and then what you uh, have to do with the construction uh, constructive wave? You have to tell me is about eight to 10 rays per minute.